What's going on everyone and welcome back to another video today. We're going to talk about something a little bit different on the channel, although I technically have done it in the past. I don't think anyone cared at the time because it was back in 2020, but I want to talk about a series that I love to death. I mean, it literally, we're going to be talking about Pigmen, the very first Pigmen game. Hopefully this entire year, I will talk about all four of the Pigmen games. There are on consoles. I don't have Hey Pigmen on 3DS or whatever that one's called because I'll be honest, it probably would be my least favorite anyway. So, yeah, let's just say that. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, we're going to talk about the very first Pigmen game that released on the GameCube. Now, I did pick this up on the Switch um, when it, you know, released on the Switch. I think people really forgot that. That's how I pretty much got the experience of it. So, does Pigmen 1 still hold up after nearly 20 years later? Time to find out. Alright, let's talk about the plot of the game, shall we? Because I need to explain how Pigmen works. Well, we're going to explain that, of course, but let's talk about the plot. Captain Olimar, yes, that character from Smash Bros, has a ship called the SS Dolphin. Suddenly, however, while he was flying, a meteor hits it. It crashes onto, I'm assuming, the Earth. <laughs> but Pigmen calls it a different way, so, yeah. But, yeah, next time he woke up, his ship was destroyed. That means he will need to find all of his ship parts in order to fly back, with a limited amount of time. So yeah, that's pretty much the whole plot of the game. You basically need to find your ship parts to make sure you get enough, uh, so you can get out of here. You can- there's different endings to this, which I will talk about later on in the video. So, I guess I need to explain the whole point of Pigmen, and why I adore it as much as, like, other franchises of mostly- almost every other popular franchise. Almost, keyword. I don't know why, I just do. <laughs> um, so yeah. But, uh, let's talk about the gameplay. So, Pigmen Play is a three-dimensional strategy-based game, is what it says here. Um, basically, you're controlling Olimar. Aw, oh, dang it, hold up. Alright, sorry about that. But yeah, you're controlling Captain Olimar, and basically, uh, along the way, you will find some little creatures, little bugs, called Pigmen. There are different color Pigmen, at least in this game, only has red, which is basically immune to to enemies that shoot fire attacks. They won't really die, it's silly. You have yellow pigmen, who wouldn't die to electricity, and uh, blue pigmen, which wouldn't affect water. They can go on the water. So, yeah, this kind of a 3D... I wouldn't even call this... This is unlike a 3D platformer like Mario or something, but basically, it's sort of a little strategy game where you guide... Where you grab enough pigmen to, you know, kill enemies and get them to, you know, take your ship parts and stuff. And, yeah, that's pretty much pigmen. Well, that's at least how the gameplay works. You throw pigmen to attack enemies, you also use pigmen to help find, puzzle find puzzles and stuff like that. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much how the game controls, honestly. It's definitely more of a... Some people will attend no some people will look at Pigmen and be like, oh, this is a nice peaceful little game. I'm sorry, y'all. This is unlike Animal Crossing, where it's like a pretty peaceful game. Although I'm not sure about that one, because I, some of you I don't know, I don't really have much experience with Animal Crossing, but it's definitely one of the more peaceful Nintendo series out there, so yeah. But Pigmen is a whole different story. While it has his chill, nice, cute moments, the game doesn't mess around at times. There are enemies that try to kill you. Like, literally, and you have to make sure you get enough Pikmin to kill them, otherwise you'd be losing them and it'd be, you know, it'd be struggling. You have to plan a, a huge strategy when it comes to finding Pikmin, and that's kind of what I feared when I first played Pikmin 1 on the Wii. That was the first time I played it, by the way. I don't know why I played it with motion controls. I mean, I mean, it was fine, but, like, the Switch is just honestly better, and I say this as someone who has the Wii as my favorite Nintendo console, so, yeah. But, I just think that, you know, the first Pigmen game does have its problems. I mean, it literally, and I can confirm it does. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's, um, it's a rather, like, you know, the Pigmen AI, per se, um, can be a little dumb at times. Like, they follow you in some, some ways, you guide them to certain places, and then sometimes they just don't freaking listen. <laughs> yeah, that's, have fun with deal with the AI, but considering it's the first in the series, I guess it kind of makes sense, even though I'm really not a fan of that I mean, I guess I said, well, it's the first game in the series makes sense, but sometimes it doesn't apply. Look at you, Super Mario Kart! <laughs> but, uh, yeah. 
I will say, I really love the way- I just don't know why I adore Pikmin. Like, I was honestly wondering if I was gonna get into the series, and yeah, I just became obsessed with it. A nice, chill series, like it's- Well, chill is not the term, but it's a nice series to, co to, to you know, try to get into. And yeah, it probably isn't for everyone, and I can see why. It is definitely more slow paced, I guess, if I could, if that makes any sense. But if you have that type of patience, you'll have a fun time playing Pikmin, in my opinion. Wow. A lot of words there, but yeah, I can't confirm that you get. Yeah, make sure you get enough ship parts, and also there's caves which you use to you know find treasure sometimes. And uh, basically, well, okay, treasure is the term that they've used. It's been a s series staple, I guess, is what it is. But this is ship parts. But treasure is a term that they use in future games. So yeah, and um, can't confirm even though it's the first of the series. I say Pigment One, in my opinion. Definitely holds up pretty well in terms of like, you know, stuff to do and everything. For, for for like a brand new Nintendo IP at the time, it was definitely, it's definitely like up there, honestly. Gotta say, I really like Pikmin 1. I really do not know how I rank the Pikmin games. I'm gonna have to wait to do that. But, um, I can't confirm Pikmin 1. Although it's the first in the series, you're gonna have some troubles with AIs and stuff. I can't confirm that. It, it definitely is. I'm um, a very, very fun game, honestly, and it is easily one of my favorite uh, GameCube games, honestly. And I gotta say, the areas themselves just look nice, and the music, I don't know, if, I don't know, I guess it fits the setting, it's not the, I don't know, memorable, who knows if you call it memorable, oh, come on, there's the Smash remix, who doesn't hate, who doesn't love it, <laughs> so, yeah, but I can't confirm, although this is a pretty short video, but considering it's the first in the series, only learning it a little bit, it, this first one had to be short, but definitely, with the future games, we will, it will take a different approach, so yeah, Payment 1, I don't know if it's my least favorite in the series quite yet, I'll have to keep talking about more, but, um, yeah, Pikmin 1 is a great start to this series, and throughout the year, hopefully, I will be uh, talking more Pikmin. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. What do you think of Pikmin 1 if you played it? Are you excited for me to talk about it? Uh, no. I've wanted to talk about different series, honestly, so yeah. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see more of this, like Metroid or Mega Man or something. Later, folks.